My name is Paul Gill. I'm a senior lecturer at University College London's Department of Security and Crime Science and I'm the principal investigator on one of the Crest funded projects. This project in particular is interested in risk and decision making by terrorists. Now it's long been hailed within the literature that terrorists are rational actors. We've been saying this for about 30-35 years and the vast majority of the research that cites these types of arguments basically looks at why terrorist organisations target the types of target they do. So for example, there's no shortage of studies on why the IRA bomb commercial targets. But what is really missing is an analysis of why the IRA chose to bomb that particular commercial target as opposed to one around the corner or across the street. And this is the kind of research question that this project is looking to answer. So there are three main ways that we're approaching this question within this project. The first one is a systematic review of the evidence uh, in relation to criminal decision making. We found over 100 articles that look at why criminals target particular locations to engage in their crimes. And we're synthesizing the evidence base there to get a sense of what are the situational cues that increase the rewards or the sense of rewards at a situation and minimize the sense of risks or exacerbate the sense of risks that make the individual criminal either say, I'm going to do the crime right here, right now, or I'm going to walk away and do crime another day or not bother with the crime whatsoever. So that's the first approach. The second approach is we're going to take all of that evidence that's synthesized and build a series of hypotheses which we're going to test against two unique data sets. The first data set is maintained by the Fixated Threat Assessment Center. This is a center that's a part of the Met Police and has partners within the NHS. And these are the individuals that are tasked with managing threats made to the Queen and the Royal Family. So we've got over 2,000 cases of threats made to the Royal Family. And the really neat thing within this data is we've got individuals who have made threats but done nothing about it. We have individuals that have made threats and turned up at the scene and decided not to act upon it. And we have individuals that made threats, turned up at the scene and tried to act upon their threats. So we're hoping to be able to delineate the reasons why individuals transitioned from step one to step two and step two to step three or failed to transition between them more importantly. The final part of the project is also going to test the same hypotheses but with a unique data set uh, that's underpinned by over 100 terrorist autobiographies. So we're going to turn that largely qualitative data into quantitative evidence about the types of decisions uh, and behaviours that make a crime more, or a terrorist attack more likely to occur at a given place at a given time. So for more information, keep an eye on the Crest website.